Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got this uh, blue square and this uh, yellow equilateral uh, triangle, as you can see in this uh, diagram, such that uh, their uh, side lengths are uh, eight uh, units. And moreover, we got uh, this uh, diagonal line uh, DE. And as a result, we get this uh, green shaded triangle uh, PBT. And now our task is to calculate the area of this uh, green shaded triangle PBT. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. Let me make it very clear that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's get started with the solution. And here's our very first step. Let's focus on this uh, yellow equilateral uh, triangle. We know that the, each angle of an equilateral triangle is uh, 60 degrees. So therefore, uh, this angle is going to be 60 degrees. And moreover, we know that this angle uh, is uh, 90 degrees angle. And now let's focus on this uh, straight angle that is 100 and 80 degrees this angle is 90 degrees this angle is 60 degrees so therefore this angle has got to be 30 degrees so therefore our this angle pbt turns out to be 30 degrees and here's our task we need to calculate the area of this uh, green shaded triangle pbt and now let's recall the area of a triangle formula area equals to a half times a p times a sine of angle c as you can see in this triangle these are our sides a and b and this angle c is in between them so let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this formula so the area of this green triangle p b t is going to be a half times our side lengths are P B times T B sine of 30 degrees in between them. And now we know that sine of 30 degrees is one divided by two. So therefore, I'm gonna replace this sine of 30 by one divided by two. As you can see in this uh, next step, I have replaced this sine of uh, 30 degrees by one divided by two. So let's go ahead and simplify one divided by two times one divided by two is going to give us one divided by four times P B times T B. So thus the area of this green triangle P B T turns out to be one divided by four times P B times T B. Now our task is to find the value of this pb length and this uh, tb length uh, as well let me go ahead and call this our equation number one and here's our next uh, step uh, let's focus on these two right triangles uh, this big right triangles dae and this another right triangle uh, pbe and we can see that these are our similar triangles according to angle angle similarity theorem since both of these are right triangles and this angle uh, is in common between them and as a result we are going to have a proportion let's have uh, this uh, ratio first uh, p b divided by b e let me go ahead and write down uh, p b divided by b e equals to another ratio of uh, d a divided by a e let me go ahead and write down uh, d a divided by a e and now our BE length is 8 units. This DA length is 8 units. And finally, this whole AE length is going to be 8 plus 8 is going to give us 16 units. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this equations. PB divided by 8 equals to 8 divided by 16 let's multiply both sides by 8 and here we can see that this 8 and 8 is uh, gone so we got uh, pb equal to 64 divided by 16 so therefore our pb length turns out to be 4 units 
So thus we figured out our PB value that turns out to be 4. Now our next task is to find the value of this uh, TB length. And here's our next step. Let's focus uh, on this uh, P, B, E, this uh, whole uh, triangle. We can see the area of this uh, P, B, E triangle is equal to this uh, green uh, triangle uh, P, B, T area plus uh, the area of this uh, other triangle uh, B, E, T. Let me go ahead and call this our equation uh, number 2. And now let's go ahead and calculate the area of this uh, right triangle PBE. And now let's recall the area of a triangle formula. Area equals to a half times base times height. In our case, our base is 8 and our height, uh, this uh, PB is 4 units. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks. So this is going to be a half times, uh, this is going to be 8 times 4. And if we simplify everything on the right hand side, it is going to give us 16. So thus the triangle PBE area turns out to be 16 square units. And here's our next step. Let's go ahead and calculate the area of this uh, another triangle BET. And now let's recall this area of a triangle formula once again. A area equals to a half times AB times a sine of C. And C is the angle in between these two side lengths. And in our case, our side lengths are 8 and this other side length BT and 60 degrees is our angle in between them. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this one. It's going to be a half times 8 times this side length BT times the sine of 60 degrees and now we know that uh, sine of 60 degrees is uh, square root of 3 divided by 2 as you can see in this uh, next step i have replaced this sine of 60 degrees by square root of 3 divided by 2 and if we simplify the right hand side that is going to give us uh, 2 times the uh, square root of uh, 3 times uh, b t so thus the area of this uh, triangle uh, BET turns out to be 2 times square root of 3 times uh, TB. And just keep in your mind that this uh, TB length is equal to BT length. They are exactly same. And now finally let's go ahead and calculate the area of this uh, green shaded triangle uh, PBT. And once again, we are going to use this uh, area of a triangle formula, a half times uh, AB times uh, sine of uh, C. And in our case, uh, our side lengths are uh, 4 and this side length uh, is uh, TB and the angle between them is uh, 30 degrees. So therefore, let's go ahead and fill in the blanks. So we are going to have uh, 1 uh, over 2 times uh, 4 times uh, this uh, length uh, TB times uh, sine of 30 degrees and now we know that sine of 30 degrees is 1 divided by 2 as you can see in this uh, next step i have replaced this sine of 30 degrees by 1 divided by 2 and if we simplify everything on the right hand side we are going to get simply t b so thus the area of this uh, triangle uh, p b t turns out to be t b and here's our next step. Let's go ahead and substitute these uh, value of these uh, area of triangles in this uh, equation uh, 2. We already figured out uh, all uh, these uh, triangle areas. So the area of this uh, triangle uh, PBE is 16 on the left hand side equal to the area of this uh, triangle PBT is uh, 2 times square root of uh, 3 times uh, T B and plus finally T B and now we can see T B and T B is in common so therefore this could be written as 16 equal to T times B I'm gonna bring it outside and we got uh, 2 times the square root of 3 plus uh, 1 and now let's go ahead and divide both sides by 2 times square root of 3 plus 1 and here we can see they cancel each other out so therefore our TB length value is 16 divided by 2 times square root of 3 plus 
1 and here we got uh, our TB value and we are not supposed to be having uh, radicals at the denominator so therefore we are going to rationalize the denominator so let me go ahead and just uh, multiply and divide by its uh, conjugate the conjugate is going to be 2 times uh, square root of 3 minus 1 divided by 2 times uh, square root of 3 minus 1 on both sides and on the top on the numerator that is going to give us 16 times 2 times the square root of 3 minus 1 all over these 2 times square root of 3 plus 1 times 2 times square root of 3 minus 1 and now let's recall this uh, famous identity a plus b times a minus b could be written as uh, a square minus b square the difference of two squares we are going to apply it on this part in the denominator and here i have copied down this uh, denominator part and if we apply this uh, formula we are going to have uh, 11 so therefore uh, this uh, denominator part has been simplified to 11 so therefore our uh, this uh, tb length uh, turns out to be 16 uh, times 2 times uh, square root of 3 minus uh, 1 divided by 11 let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, equation 1 so the area of this uh, green shaded triangle uh, pbt is going to be 1 divided by 4 and let me replace this uh, pb value which is uh, 4 times this uh, tb value is uh, 16 times uh, 2 times square root of 3 minus 1 all over 11 and here we can see that this 4 and 4 this is uh, gone so therefore the area of this green shaded triangle pbt is going to be 16 times 2 times the square root of 3 minus 1 all over 11 and thus here is the area of our green shaded triangle pbt and that is approximately equal to 3.58 square units thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye